All right, so I ordered food. So here is my first meal. So I got five guys, actually. So I got their regular size Cajun fry, which I never finished the fries. I never finished the burger either, which I'll definitely show you guys that. So for the cheeseburger, uh, bigger than her head. I I know why she has to preference everything that she eats with a, I almost never eat this. I almost never can finish the fries, which look fermented. They look like something you dragged out of like King Tut's tomb or something like that. Like they, they definitely overcook these like crazy, which is really, really insane because I think the, the price for the fries from Five Guys is like seven bucks or something like that. And they think they're so bougie putting their fries in a cup. Nobody cares, by the way, right? And, and the fries are so incredibly expensive that... Whenever I've went to Five Guys, I only ever get one if I'm eating for, with two people because it's, it's so much. It's so much money, dude. But um, same thing with the burger and things such and so forth. Like Five Guys, real deal charges so high cost, and you're not really getting anything out of it. Like it's just a burger that you can create at your house for literally a fraction of the price. You can make your own French fries too. I make my own French fries. My French fries are amazing. They're fantastic. They're spiced up. I got my recipe from a Mexican lady, so I know that they taste good, and they, they're spicy, they're real spicy, and if you can't tolerate the spice, I know that I'm white, I know there are gonna be people out there going, David, you would find ketchup spicy, which is not true, by the way, I don't find ketchup spicy, and if you think that, that's really disrespectful, because I, I have a really high tolerance when it comes to culinary foods, uh, I can I can tolerate a lot of spices. Now, I may not be the individual that can tolerate those, like, those forbidden chips, the ones that, like, were killing people or whatever, I probably couldn't tolerate one of those, but I could probably tolerate like most, most pretty much all like spicy foods for the most part. But for somebody like Amber to be going off track and eating, by the way, like, I don't know if you guys know, but the burgers from, from these, uh, from five guys are like a thousand calories, 800 to a thousand calories a piece. The fries too, around that same amount. The girl like this should only be eating realistically. I mean, she's probably eating 5,000 calories a day not trying to lose weight, right? Like if she's just going throughout her day. I mean, you're, if you're like over five, 500 pounds, closing in on 600 pounds, yeah, she's probably eating somewhere around 5,000 calories a day. So this is probably extremely light. But to burn out your calories, when it comes to somebody in a deficit like this, they should be trying to get as many, as many foods out of those calories as humanly possible. And I know Amber's engaging in a deficit i just don't know why she refuses to actually eat accurately and get as much out of the food as possible instead of going to five guys like i get it it tastes good but it can't taste that good um i got mayo jalapeno jalapeno worse onion so that's everything Sorry. that's on there so good and then it's just a burger dude I, I you know like look dude i understand like we live in america burgers are incentivized it's our culture and things and such and so forth but like, how good do you feel that you just spent 12 dollars on a double cheeseburger that you could have created at your house for you know the other day i was at the grocery store and i bought like a big thing of burger right it was like a big one like an 80 an 80 20 split and I think it was $11, right? It was $11 and put that in context, right? This one probably just spent like $12 on the entire burger. And I spent probably the $12 on just the burgers alone. You could buy the buns for about three or four bucks, okay? And she said she has some jalapenos. Jalapenos are not that expensive. You could buy like probably a ton of them for like three bucks. And then the onions or whatever, dude, cheap, three bucks. Put it all together. How many burgers do you think you can make out of that? Easily with the buns, you could probably make four burgers alone. Yeah, dude, I can easily make four or five of them burgers, bro. And it would be probably the, the unit price for those burgers would be like two bucks or less. It'd be like two bucks or less. But for somebody like Amber, this is a step up. Because Amber at her peak was spending $3,000 a month on fast food. And you might be thinking, David, how the fuck do you spend $3,000 a month? It's very easy to spend $3,000 a month. Especially if you're getting Uber Eats like every day for every single meal. And it's very easy for our girl here to cave in on the food. I mean, it's it's literally the easiest thing to pick up your phone and just go, oh wow, they're giving me like a $5 off deal, which in general, that doesn't really mean anything because most of the time they're like upcharging you for the food anyway. But you're getting that $5 off deal. The dude's coming over. He probably has, you probably have him on retainer because how many times are you ordering Uber Eats in a day? Three, four, five times a day. Each minimum order has gotta be like 30 bucks. Let's be honest here for a second. If you're eating for you, it's gonna be expensive. But if you're eating for more than one person, Bro, you're literally looking at $30, $40 per, per, 
per Uber Eats order easily too. Not even joking, man. And if you think I'm lying on that, dude, no, that is literally accurate. It's like thirty to forty dollars. And I know Amber is eating for wifey. I know she has a new girlfriend. I don't know if that girlfriend is living with her. I hope she's not because Amber. I don't think that she can handle a relationship at this point. But if that is the case, yeah, 100%. And even just for herself, she's probably median valuing this shit at like 20, 21, 22 bucks. This meal alone was probably like 21, 22 bucks easily. How much is a burger? 12 bucks. How much is a how much is a fry? 7, 8 bucks. How much is a drink? 2, 3, 4 dollars, right? 24 bucks. 24, 25, 21, something around there. For the drink, I just got a Diet Coke. So when my Uber delivered the food. Yeah, I mean, I knew it. Like, it would be a lot better if she actually went out of her way and actually got the food herself, like drove up to the spot. Oh, no, she doesn't drive. Damn, yeah, she can't drive. Uh, it would be better even if she just Ubered her way to the restaurant, but then I guess because you're paying for the Uber there and back, I guess, dude. Just walk, you know? I don't know. There are many times in your life where I don't know how so many people can justify the 9 or $10 trip cost for certain places when I could just walk down there for in 20 minutes, you know? And it's, you're getting a whole bunch of nice uh, ambient sounds of the birds, the trees, the hawks, the squirrels and shit like that. They're doing a whole bunch of great stuff. Maybe the homeless guy running down the street half naked, you know, screaming and punching the air randomly. It's all beautiful, right? You're getting a piece of the environment. And for somebody like Amber to just go, yeah, Uber Eats. I mean, it's obvious. Like, why wouldn't you order Uber Eats when you have it on your phone? That's why I always say, like, I don't know. Can you put, like, a, a parental block on the Uber Eats? Can you, like, try to sabotage yourself a little bit? Make your make it a little bit harder for you when you're in the right headspace? Like, I get it. When you're hungry and you've been eating like this for, like, your entire life, you're probably not going to be in the right headspace. But there are definitely gaps in those headspaces, right, where you're thinking somewhat clear. Can you, in those moments of clarity, can you just like go through your phone and just delete the Uber Eats app? Like actually delete, delete the account, delete the, delete the app, delete all of it because it's not helping you. It's literally just your detriment because it's just convenient food on your phone at any point in time, whenever you want. It's too easy for her. Food, um, I was expecting a guy and it was actually my original Uber driver's wife. It's because he broke his- What the fuck do you mean my original Uber driver? Dude, do you actually have a guy on retainer? Like, is there a guy? Dude, I'm sorry, dude. I was making a joke before about having an Uber guy on, on retainer. But why is she making it out like that? Why is she saying like, oh, yeah, my original guy? What do you mean your original guy? What the fuck does that even mean? Do you have, do you literally know an Uber guy? Like, phone number? Like, hey, dude, you're always so fast on the delivery. Can you, like, deliver my food professionally, like, all the time? And you are upset? Bro, what are we even talking about right now? Uh, hold up. I'm sorry that I'm like literally trying to make a joke out of this, but this is not something to joke about. Is she actually saying that she has an Uber driver that like comes by her house and actually delivers her food? Is that what I'm hearing? That cannot be the truth, right? I got to go back and actually hear that shit. I'm sorry. My original Uber driver's wife, it's because he broke his leg. I was like, oh my God. I don't know. Why do you know that though? Who is this guy? Who is this Uber driver? Am I wrong? Dude, aren't there like thousands of guys that deliver food? I, is this, why do you know this one particular guy and he broke his leg? What the fuck are you talking about? Do you actually have an Uber driver on retainer? Am I hearing that correct, dude? Like, are you calling him up and going like, yo, bro, I'm about to literally order Uber Eats right now. Make sure you got your app open and you're around the area so you can accept the call. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Like, dude, is that actually what's going on right now? Because if that is the case, that's craziness. That is literally some mega food addiction. Wife, it's because he broke his leg. Do you know how telling this is to even say like, oh yeah, my perfect, my, my retainered Uber driver couldn't show up. Oh, sad face. Hashtag less than three with the, with the slash through it. Um, but his wife delivered it. Mm, I guess I can't flirt with him. Like, is that what I'm hearing? I was like, oh my God. I don't know about y'all. Bro, he, sh <laughs> he should be saying that anytime he delivers that food. Anytime he get that notification. Like, oh my God, Amber, I can't want to deliver that food. I just, I just dropped that shit off like 20 seconds ago. But I'm a 30% tipper when it's on Uber. Like, I just have that automatically set. But you could suck me off. You don't need to, bro, listen to the tips are becoming too crazy nowadays, okay? I understand you want people to make more money than maybe minimum wage. I understand, dude. But tell me how I was on I was on Amazon, right? And I was looking at some good prices for some water because I'm a bougie bitch when it comes to my water consumption, right? I like to drink Poland Spring because I grew, I grew up on Poland Spring, so I'm a little bit biased. And I can taste the differences between different waters. And Poland Spring is the best one. I cannot 
I cannot vouch more for Poland Spring. I need a sponsorship from Poland Spring. They are the best water. And I know they're owned by Nestle. And I know they suck up. I know they suck up, like, lakes in the middle of, like, the, the country somewhere and stuff like that. I understand. It's bad for the environment. Yes, I get it, dude. Like, there are a whole bunch of Native Americans out there crying, you know, like, wind talker or, like, you know, uh, wolf's cry or whatever in the fucking backyard crying because their lake is gone. I understand it. I'm a bad consumerist. All right? I get it. Capitalism sucks. But anyway, I suck down the water every day. I love it. But um, what were we talking about, dude? But I'm a 30% tipper. Oh, yeah. The tips have become really crazy. I was on Amazon, and I was trying to, like, order water, right? And I saw that the water was, like, on sale, right? So I was like, oh, yeah, dude. I'm about to order the water from Amazon. And I went to go pick up a whole bunch of stuff. And I shit you not, like, when I look, when I... When I added it all up and I was about to check out, I saw that shit was like 10 bucks more than it actually was. And I was like, hold up. Damn, that shit kind of expensive. <laughs> what the fuck? Where? Why that all? Why is it coming up? And I went through it and I saw that they added in $10 for the tip. And I was like, bro, $10 for what? I don't even know if this dude's going to be delivering this shit on time. I don't know if he's going to be, you know, I don't know if he's going to be having sex with the water in the back seat. I don't fucking know. I don't know nothing about this guy. To give him ten dollars, okay. The order was literally like twenty bucks, okay. It was just like some water, and I had I put like some water packets, like some flavoring in there, just because. And then it was like ten extra dollars. I was like, that's ridiculous, bro. I'm not paying that dude ten. I don't even, dude. Hear me out, okay. I bought this table. I didn't buy this table. Somebody bought this table for me for my um for something. I don't I actually don't remember, but it's a good table. But thank you whoever bought this for me, right? Person in my life that I care about, but. They bought this table for me, and this table had to weigh 90 pounds, okay? Like, it was an immense, and you know when you're lifting 90 pounds at the gym, it's probably not that bad because it's on a bar, and it's, like, you know, equally distributed. But this guy lifted this shit out of the back of the box, like, after out of the back of the truck, and, like, shuffled it up my, I live, like, I live in an apartment complex, and I have a porch, so he had to, like, shuffle it up the stairs on the porch, and then, like, leave it there, bro, he must have blew out his back in, like, eight different places, bro, I probably gave that dude scoliosis, he deserved the tip, that guy deserved the tip, I don't know anything about the dude that's gonna deliver my water, dude, I could lift up the three packets of water, dude, I would literally professionally lift up water, up people's delivering water if it meant that I was going to get $10 guaranteed. But the point I'm making is it was already in there and I had to go through and actually deduce. I had to deduct the price. But I was so disrespected by the fact that it was automatically included that I didn't even order it. And I just went down to the supermarket and I bought water there instead. Like, it was just crazy to me. Like, dude, Amazon, get your shit together, okay? Like, I'm not trying... Stop adding in the tips. Have it there, okay? And have a big prompt for it, sure. Like, have the entire screen just light up. Like, oh, you want a tip? And then just have me click no. But don't just automatically include it. That's disrespectful, dude. I get it. Your drivers are working 19 hours a day and they're peeing into bottles to deliver your shit. But, like, I shouldn't have to be held responsible or at least have the tip... Auto like, how many people have probably ordered something and had that thing just be automatically included and didn't even think about it? Probably a lot of people. Probably a lot of people. When it's on Uber, like I just have that automatically set. But for some reason, that made me. You must have a lot of money, bro. Thirty percent. Hold up, bro. Let me think about this for a second. So if your minimum order is like twenty bills, right? Let's just say twenty bills, just off the top of my head, and you're tipping thirty bills off the top. What is that like? Fucking five, six, seven bucks. Just like that? Just like that every day, too? Like, I know this girl's eating Uber at least once a day. At least once a day. But that's probably lowballing it. She's probably getting that delivered three, four, five times a day if I'm going to keep it a buck. That shit's got to add up, bro. I can see why that dude's on retainer, dude. He's probably getting a quick five, six bucks every single order. And you're ordering three, four times a day? Oh, bro, that dude's stacking, bro. Yo, that guy's stacking, bro. He's probably making... Oh, hold up. Let me think about that. He probably making 30 bills off the back end just from tips. Damn, a day too? Whoa. Man, I can see why that dude's coming by, man. Plus all, all the money on the commission too. You feel really bad, so I tipped a little extra. You right. tipped a little extra to the woman? Okay, because he broke his leg, I guess. To, to, I, I mean, I, this, this is your Uber driver. I didn't even know you can. Can you specially have Uber drivers? Can, is it like slavery? Like you can buy Uber drivers now and they'll just specifically come to you? Is that how that right, works? So I'm going to eat this. New age slavery, dude. Buying Uber drivers. I'm probably going to watch like Grey's Anatomy or something. Yeah, just let that shit sit in the bottom of your fucking stomach. You know what I'm talking about? Just like an anchor hitting the fucking bottom of your stomach, dude. And then what are you going to do? Watch Grey's Anatomy. I don't even know people even watch Grey's Anatomy anymore. That shit is so bad, dude. I literally was 
watching dude the earlier seasons when they had hot guys and they were dying and crazy shit was going on like it was cool right but nowadays it's insane bro i was watching the show literally recently and there was so much politics in the show like there was a transgender doctor that was black and it would, the entire episode was like oh yeah um my like i i guess a patient came in and was like i don't fuck i don't i don't want women working on me and i guess the woman was like she was a woman she was a transgender a woman right so she was a woman she identified as a woman but she had a meat and she had like a mustache kind of and the guy was like talking shit to her i don't know bro it was kind of crazy bro i was just thinking like what the fuck who's watching this shit why is it so political bro i don't give a fuck what i don't know man i just think like who's watching Grey's anatomy anymore dude who's doing that let me know down below and then i'll show you guys what i don't finish because... what a life by the way like go eat your fucking ginormous burger that you just got from like five guys for 13 dollars and sit down and watch Grey's Anatomy for the rest of the day. What a life. Because every time I get five guys, I never finish my food. What do you mean every time? Yeah, they fucked you up on these french fries, dude. That's cr I gotta let you know right now, I would return this shit, bro. They, they must have cooked this shit for like 40 extra minutes dude this just literally the the bag is lighter than the the actual fries themselves these things are crunched the fuck up i would i would return this shit bro D tell me i'm lying this is disrespectful y'all i tell you they give you so many fries yeah but these fries don't look good dude they look like this, this this shit looks like if you went over to Israel and you know how they they foreskin out dudes and they just I don't know what they do with the foreskin right you know when they cut off the foreskin just let everybody know I am currently circumcised I mean I don't know if it's gonna grow back or anything like that I didn't have a choice in the matter but it looks like they, they the foreskin wrappers right you know what I'm talking about they just tossed them in a vat of grease and this is what they gave you it doesn't look good at all like this shit literally looks like it's crunched up like that I feel like if I grabbed it it would just start like turning into dust just. Whoo you know always just empty them in the bag but that is all the fries i have left like it's just so wasteful but it's a lot what and do you mean wasteful you know you're going body slam that and i'm over it and then here is how much of the burger that i've left yeah so you know, stop lying i'm finished with this stop lying what the fuck is that amber in here but coffee beautiful so, what's going on here? Just so, I'm about to have two of these Uncrustables. It's Why doesn't she make food? Like, I know that she sucks at cooking food, and anytime I've ever seen her cook food, it's like a culmination of tons and tons of seasoning powders on top of, like, ramen packets, and it's not very delectable, in my opinion. When I see her cook the food, it's just like, it's just literally that. But... I feel like it's not hard anymore to know how to cook. It's it's actually really, really easy to look up a quick recipe. There's a guy on YouTube, um, Kent Rollins, right? Just watch any of his videos. Like, I get it. Maybe they're, like, really, really bad for you. But anything's got to be better than just making pre-made food or ordering out every single day. It's peanut butter and grape jelly. It's too easy for her. It's so good. Like, and a it's just kissed orange, zero sugar. It's just way too easy for her to seed over all the responsibilities of eating regular food to delivery apps or going to the grocery store and picking up the Smuckers Uncrustables. I don't even think these are that good. Like regular, if you can make your own peanut butter and jellies, I feel like that's way better. I got Taco Bell. <laughs> I got an order of their cinnamon. You know, like, you know, people nowadays say, oh yeah, if you go to Taco Bell, your bubble, you're gonna have that bubble gush shit. Your, your, your belly's literally about to explode from the severe torture and the disrespect to the palate that is the Taco Bell. I think that the amount of disrespect that Amber Lynn has put through her body to this particular degree that we're at right now, that I think her body has probably built up to such a tolerance. Like you, you, gonna, you know the guys that was at Chernobyl and they were like trying to, uh, when they were putting that like, you know what I'm talking about? They were putting that like little shell over Chernobyl for the first time and like half of them died like 20 years later because of all the radiation poisoning. Some of them just died like literally the next day. I think that Amber probably has built up to such a tolerance. Like I think she could probably just be there and it just take the radioactiveness and just like it would be nothing. You know what I'm talking about? Like the elephant's foot would literally look at her and just go or like the final boss music from like Elden Ring or something like that would start playing from like Dark Souls or whatever, like Traverse the Mist. Amber Lynn comes in like sucking up all the fucking radiation. It's like her name is Clark Kent. Like that's I feel like that's I feel like to this degree, like because Am Amber has eaten so much complete dog shit in her life that I think it's. It's really important to actually emphasize how much she's actually eaten, dude. So I don't think that she's going to be dealing with the 
the problems, dude. I mean, it probably takes her like five days to sort through the amount of food, man, in twist. her body. My hair is all up in it. Cinnamon twist. I actually have not had these since. I, I don't know why she always goes like I didn't. I've never had these before, dude. If I've went to, I've I think the most restaurant I've ever went to was probably McDonald's, right? I haven't been to Burger King in five, six, seven, eight years. I haven't been to KFC probably in the same length. I've never been into a Taco Bell. No. I was in a Taco Bell once when I was 16 years old. I was at, it was way, 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 way long ago. Okay, I was a homeless too at the time. But that, and then I had uh, Chick-fil-A. We don't even have Chick-fil-A's here. It's just like Amber Lynn has way too many opportunities to eat fast food. And I'm just sitting here going, McDonald's. Like, that's all I got. Like, that's it. Like, that's all, that's all I ever eat if I'm ever eating fast food. And Amber is just eating out literally every day. I was probably like a teenager from what I can remember. So let's try one. Mmm. Uh, it literally, the texture reminds me of freeze-dried candy. I got one taco. See, like, you knowing what freeze-dried candy even tastes like is crazy to me. You know what I'm talking about? That'd be like if you met a dude and he, he just tasted some food. He's like, you know, it kind of tastes like a sweaty dick. And you'd be like, yeah, uh, hold up. Wait, wait a minute now. How you know about, how you know about what that shit tastes like? And he go, oh, you know. <laughs> What? Forget about it. You know, now what you talking about? You know, like what? You know, it's like that. Like, what, what, why do you even know? Why? How do you? Why do you know what freeze dried candy tastes like in the same way that? How does this guy know what sweaty dick tastes like in the same way? You know what I'm talking about? Just the um, nacho taco one. I don't know. It's the nacho cheese taco shell, which is what I prefer. And then I got a black bean burrito with. I think I asked for like French fries and onion on the inside. French fries and onion on the burrito? Dude, she's always licking her lips and shit, dude. And I, I know why she's doing this because she's like always monstrously hungry and she's always... <laughs> Yo, bro, I gotta keep, I'm sorry to say this shit, bro, because anytime I've watched an Amber Lynn Reed video, who's this dog? This dog is consistently always judging her. I, every single video, bro, the side eye is incredible. I cannot believe this dog and how sassy this fucking dog is, bro. Look at this shit. You know how they say nowadays there's a sassy man apocalypse and girls go like this? Sassy man apocalypse or something like that or like this. I don't fucking know. Girls do that and they go sassy man apocalypse because guys are like arguing and shit now, I guess. I don't fucking know. But the sassy dog apocalypse right here, dude. Look at this dude, man. Look at look at this side eye. Judging Amber body slamming the Taco Bell, dude. That's <laughs> it's crazy, bro. I took a bite of my food and I forgot. I'm also drinking some water. So I don't usually get drinks. When I order from Uber, I mean, I have before, it has happened, but it's not really something I do. I kind of just like- Why does it matter? Like if you're ordering like 4,000 calories worth of food and you're talking about some, but I never order drinks, I guess. Like that's, yeah, dub what we could take it, but that's not really much of a dub. It creeps a little bit. Okay. When chocolate met peanut butter, a love story. Okay. Okay, so I had a chocolate... Well, my dick met your mouth. Peanut Love story. butter. Yeah, so it was the first thing. Is this is a towel? And then I ordered this, like, open... Dude, sometimes I think that people just don't care about the, the food quality. The presentation of the food, I feel like sometimes is... I'm gonna need to get a little bit of that. You know, put some work into actually making the food look delectable. Because, like, I'm sick of watching people do mukbangs or review food and they just have onions that are just uncut like this shit is right here dude you literally just got at the end of an onion this dude literally put no effort into this shit this shit literally looks like they just threw it together bro it kind of looked like he took a bite kind of looked like the guy that put it together took a little bite of the sandwich dude doesn't this look like dog food this looks terrible face and why are you eating it on a towel you ever walk in on your girlfriend and there's a towel on the bed and you're like, what is about to happen? This is probably what I imagine it to be like when Amber eats. There's a towel down and you go like, what the fuck is this for? Like, why do you need a towel? Turkey, cheesy, onion, sandwich. Ooh, and the fries too? Oh, the steak fries as well. Crazy, Amber, dude. You got to stop yourself sometimes. Some like cheesy and steak fries steaky fries you know what i love about amber is that she literally sees it on the side right the cheesiest right and she still questions it like ah, it's like oh no it's like cheese and some kind of fries on it something like did you not order the food like i did you not like don't you go through and deliberately look through the app and go yeah i want that 
I want that. Do you not read the description? You just like go through and be like, oh yeah, my mouth need that shit right now. I don't know what that is, but I'm just gonna have to order that. Yeah, two, probably two. I mean, uh, I accidentally misclicked. I guess I'll just eat it for later after, right after I'm done with that one. Like, do you not read the description for the food? Isn't that like the number? All right, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about, bro. Because I always double, triple check the receipt. You fucking fuck off me, dude. I'm always making sure. It's, it's pretty tasty. Um, then I got some Starbucks. This is just a... Dude, multiple... Multiple different restaurants, okay? Let's talk about it for a second, dude. Okay, she got it from this place. Always hot, whatever the fuck this is. I'm guessing this is probably from the same establishment. And then you order Starbucks as well. Multiple different establishments, dude. You got multiple Uber drivers delivering to your house at the same time. That's crazy as shit, bro. Like, these dudes are showing up like a Spider-Man meme. You know what I'm talking about? Like, they're just looking around at each other like, you, you're an Uber Eats driver? Like, yeah, bro, I just I, I just came for the, for, the, for the Starbucks. Like, damn, bro. Can you imagine having multiple guys delivering your door? Like three dudes show up at your fucking door with bags? Chai tea. And I got some other yeah, mandolin that's, Get the cakes, fuck out of here, bro. Which is one of my faves. I don't care that it's your favorite. Dude, there are so many things that are my favorite. But it doesn't mean that I'm going to eat it. I have whipped cream in my my, my my kitchen right now, right? In my in my refrigerator. I don't know why I was a lost for words for that. But sometimes, I'm not going to lie to you, okay? I'm not using it, okay? I'm not, like, putting it on my, my fucking ass cheeks, and I'm not letting people, like, lick it off, okay? I know that's what you're probably thinking. But sometimes, after I'm done eating, bro, I'll go into that kitchen real quick, and I'll just... I'll whip cream my mouth open, bro, because sometimes I just need to get that real quick hit of that whipped cream in my mouth. I just need to taste it real quick. And you know, the great thing about whipped cream is it's really low in calorie, and then also, it doesn't even really taste like anything. Like, something, you ever realize that? Like, when you have whipped cream in your mouth, it's just kind of like a faint taste of something, because most of it's just air. And I'll just, I just can't believe how good it, it just tastes in my mouth sometimes. Like, I'll just have it in there, and I'll just kind of embrace the sweet sensation of the airiness of the of the cream. And it's in a can, which is really disrespectful sometimes to think about, right? Because it's not even being delivered in, the, like, a really appropriate way. It's literally in the can. You shake it up, and, just, whoosh, and then you fucking cream your mouth open. Not like that, though. And I was craving a chocolate chip cookie. Damn, you got the oh chocolate God. chip cookie. What do you mean you got you were craving? Uh, is this one chocolate chip cookie? Damn it, why does it look like it's a double stack? Right? Doesn't it kind of look like there's two in here? But whatever, dude. I mean, you literally just order from... Dude, you literally have this, this, which should be enough. I'll give you the tea. I'll give you the tea, because maybe the tea's not too bad in terms of calories. Probably is, though. But you literally just got both of these things, okay? And then you, and then you get this, which should be... Like, I mean, it's already too much. It's already too much. It's literally already too much. And then you get the cookie, too. You got two separate sets of cookies, and they were probably like five dollars each. Not joking to you, probably like five bucks each, bro. Her ooh, people sleep on it. People sleep on it. They they're probably going like, Dave, how does she rack up three k a month, dude? This woman literally just ordered two separate Uber Eats orders for one meal, for one meal, one meal, two Uber Eats orders. Think about that for a second. Think about that. Which is one of my faves. And I was craving a chocolate chip cookie. Also, I think that just because you're craving a chocolate chip cookie doesn't mean that you go out of your way and order a chocolate chip cookie, right? Like, that'd be like a gay dude going like, I just need that. I just need some hotness in my mouth right now. Like a pure man. Like I'm craving a man right now. A man meat. I'm craving something big and juicy in my mouth. Let me just go on Tinder. Or not Tinder. Sorry. Grinder real quick so I can just hit up a guy. And then just, you know, meet up with him real quick so you can slob some shit down your mouth. Like, just because you have cravings for it doesn't mean you execute on the cravings, right? Oh, my God. This sounds so good right now. Dude, uh, hold up. Hold up, Amber. You can't just be saying, hold up, Amber. You cannot. You cannot be looking through your previous order. Be like, yeah, so we just had this. We just had. Hold up. Uh, you know, I had to get that, too. And then, you know, I got the cookie. And then I got the other cookie. And then. I just can't. I just, hold up. That kind of look a little bit good right now. I might have to actually. Hold up, but let me just pause the video real quick. I'll be right back. And then you just order that shit. What you doing, Amber? You you have a withdrawals from from looking at the food you just body slammed? Amber! Amber! And I was craving a chocolate chip cookie. Oh my god, this sounds so good right Bro. now. <laughs> um, so I got one of those. Okay, you guys, so the next thing I'm having... If I Yo, what is Amber doing with headphones on, bro? I, if you like that sometimes, man. Does Amber game? Is Amber a gamer? I say that I'm off the track. It's 
It's probably because I either had one of these. Didn't she just say that she doesn't order drinks from Uber Eats? What the fuck is this? Plan on having one of these. It is a Sonic slushy. She's always licking her lips, dude. She don't got many lips to be licking either. And I'm kind of obsessed. I get the uh, blue coconut with the cherry. Money is a problem for her. She just can't handle it. Like she spends, she has too many opportunities to spend this bread, dude. I don't know how much money she's getting a month, man. I don't know what she, how she manages to spend it. I know she spends a lot of money on Amazon. I see the Amazon hauls on her shit all the time. I see the Torrid hauls. I see the new clothes hauls. And then she also gets a ton of like bread going to Uber Eats as well. How much money you got in a month, dude? That's insane to me, bro. How do you get that much money, dude? Just a, so much, you taking a loans for that shit? Like, how the fuck does she have this much money to be buying this much shit? For a slushie, too. I've never in my life ordered a slushie from... Let me just move myself, because I feel like I'm better down here for now. But I've never in my life have I ordered a a slushie from any establishment and have it delivered to me. I've never even ordered Uber Eats in my entire life, which I take a lot of pride in, honestly. The anemic in me says hell to the S. So Is she anemic, bro? Amber's anemic, bro? Get the fuck out of here, bro. Anemic in what? What the fuck are you anemic in, dude? Get the fuck out of here. She's literally a vampire and she's claiming she's oh, anemic. That is what... That I'm shit looks really... terrible. Okay, guys, so... My tongue is blue. <laughs> this is the same day, then? Oh, man. See, you guys be sleeping, dude. You guys real deal be sleeping. Telling, oh, David, how could she be spending 3K a month on Uber Eats, bro? Listen... This slushy alone was probably like five bucks. Don't fucking tell me it wasn't five dollars. That shit was probably five. That's probably low balling it. Five dollars is probably low balling that shit. And then to top it off, she ordered another thing of Uber slushy. Eats. The slushy usually takes me like a couple hours to drink. Get the fuck out. Nobody ever said that. Nobody ever said it takes me a couple hours. It's a slushy. It literally dehydrates. That shit melts down. What do you just drink it like the pure slop at the end of the fucking ice? No, you you drink that shit in 25 minutes at most and it's done. Okay. Nobody is drinking a slushy for more than 25 minutes. That shit doesn't even make sense. And then don't lie. You ordered this shit 10, 20, 30 minutes. Bro. You probably ordered that shit while you were sucking it down. It's just one of those things that I like sip on, but... Couldn't you sip on water? Couldn't you throw in a little something in the water? Put it in the freezer a little bit? Cool it up? I could have done that. It would have been zero calorie or five calorie. I ordered oh. Arby's. I Arby's? <laughs> okay. I mean, uh, I've never met anybody that ordered from Arby's, but... I mean, that's kind of... Wow, dude, you got no morals? Damn, bro. Arby's? Arby's, dude? All right, I guess. Diet Coke. You're lying. Show me the receipt. Show me the receipt. Show me the receipt. How many calories? How many calories, by the way, was that slushy? Slushies are slept on. Slushies got like 500 calories in them and things. Don't lie. They're like 500 calories, dude. There are a lot of calories for these. You might be thinking it's just juice and water. It's not. I don't know what they're doing in that. Maybe the Indian guy behind the counter is taking like a potato peeler and scraping off the... The, 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 the slop on his meat, like the, the meat dandruff, the the dick dandruff into the, into the I don't know. I don't know how they make it that much, but they, it really is that much. I'm going to need to know real quick, though. Show me the receipt for that. Show me the receipt for that diet Coke. I think I've had Arby's like a couple times in my life. That's, that's already too much. So, we'll see if I actually... I'm actually surprised that Arby's even still in business, dude. Sometimes when I see those advertisements, I'm like, dude, how do you guys even have money for this shit? Like, I've never even seen a dude eat at Arby's one time. You know, Amber being as much of a food addiction as she is, dude, the fact that she's eating at Arby's should tell you as much as you need to know. Like, you are so deeply embedded into the food addiction that you're ordering Arby's. A McDonald's would have been a better option than that. like this place. See, I didn't even know they had fries. I didn't even, I thought they just sold meat and shit. Large curly fry. You got to calm down, okay? Show us the food before you start eating it there. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Like, show some fucking... Man, I'm sick of these people that are food reviewers that don't put in enough effort. You're not supposed to be body slamming the food until you show up the entire thing. Just...
let me know what the texture looks like give me give me the ingredients that are listed tell me about how you love that shit like tell me the quality of the meat tell me the quality of the fries i need to know all of that shit instead of just sitting there body slamming the food and just go mm, mm, it's good that didn't tell me nothing if i'm gonna go to arby's i'm gonna need to know exactly why i should go to arby's tell me about the quality the texture is it of good consistency was it timely what is it still hot that give me all of that shit instead of just body slamming the fries right in front of me, bro. I didn't even see what's what else is in the bag. And your and your eyes are closed. What are you even doing, bro? What are you daydreaming about the beauty of the Arby's fries? That's good. <sighs> so good. I got a mac and cheese. It's a stir before eating. <laughs> just like what your girlfriend said. <laughs> okay. Ooh, look how cheesy. <laughs> that's what some your girlfriend said dude i'm sorry do as they say stir before eating it's not good it's not stop stop it dude man amber is just too much sometimes dude you're not gonna take a bite of that shit be like oh my god oh my god it's so good amber it's fucking macaroni and cheese dude You've had this shit like 50 million times in your life, dude. Stop acting like that shit is good as fuck. It's not. I get it. It says big flavor. I don't even know what that means. So cheesy. Oh, the mac and cheese is cheesy, huh? Last thing I got is a crispy fish burger. You ordering fish from fast food places, bro? Sandwich. That's risky. Who knows what? Wow. <laughs> so it looks like it's just tartar sauce, the fish... Some lettuce. I just, I'm sorry, dude, but Amber, real deal, just be sometimes saying shit that's just hilarious, dude. She really opened up the sandwich and said, wow. Wow to what, dude? It's bread and fish that's been deep fried. It's not... It's not that good. I don't know what to tell you, bro. It's like, it's not an anomalistic thing to open up a fucking... You know what you ordered, bro. Why are you looking at that shit like, wow? What you mean, wow? It's a fucking fish sandwich, dude. Calm the fuck down looks good it's a it's a it's a I i wouldn't say it looks good that shit looks dry it smells good let's dive into it because <laughs> it's a fish sandwich you dive it into it shall we how does amber have teeth anymore Dude, no, I'm, I'm sorry, dude. Amber just be going overboard way too much over a fucking fish sandwich. And I know your, your taste buds haven't even touched it yet. You, you just got bread, okay? Let's go back. I want to see it real quick. Let's get that recap. Because she just put it in her mouth for like a good one second and was already done with it. Dude, come Shall on. We? Watch this shit. Right there in the mouth. Chew once, chew twice, done. Nah, dude, it's not that good. Nah. 10 out of 10 recommend. It's not a 10 out of 10. Dude, dude, okay? Dude. Amber cannot be a food reviewer. I'm sorry to say this shit, bro. Her taste buds got to be completely obliterated off her fucking tongue at this point. There's no way you went to Orbeez and you got a fish sandwich, which doesn't even make any sense because I didn't even know if Arby's would even make fish sandwiches. That you must have had to call up Arby's. It, it, was it a guy named Arby? Was that what it was? I had no idea that Arby's did anything else besides make sandwiches, like regular sandwiches, like, like a, a glorified version of Subway with less stuff on the menu. And you managed to get a chicken, a, 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 sorry, fish sandwich. And now you're blown away where you're saying that's a 10 out of 10. Have you even eaten food before? Like, can we just be honest? Like, have you actually ever had an actual good piece of food? Damn. Okay, you guys. So the chili is done. This is what it looks like. I have it in a really cute cat cup, as you can see. And I am going to be adding some Colby and Monterey Jack cheese. And I just yeah. figured I would show you guys, whoops, how much I will be using. Because... <laughs> Bye, have fun. She's gonna be on that airsoft fatty life. <laughs> Just fucking grabbing that's, that shit. That's the point of this video. So. Tossing it in, boy. Yeah, that's good. That's, yeah, that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. That's about how much I will be using of that. Okay. And for. Um, Why do you even need cheese for chili? Drink, I will be having a diet. I just hit myself in the face with it. Diet. 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 I will be having a Diet Coke. Um, no sugar, no calories. I mean, <laughs> let's try it. As you just smothered your food and cheese. I do prefer ground turkey, so that is an issue, but we'll be okay. We'll be okay with this hamburger. That is some actual cheese right there. Oh, wow, okay. okay. Why does she always touch her food? Okay. 
Goal. It's who is so hot I can barely chew on it. I just swallow it. It's that's like every food that she eats, bro. It's not because it's hot. It's just because she swallows the food without thinking about I it. Think, no. I need to let this cool off. So good. So I'm actually gonna have some of these cheddar and sour cream chips. Makes sense. I'm probably just gonna eat the rest of them yeah why not oh, dude bust the bag down that much and then i'm gonna have oh some yeah dude the mulatto cookies, cookies dude i'll show you guys what they look like <laughs> damn can't even get the hand in the bag bro damn that's tough that's tough you saw the struggle getting hand in the bag when your hand is like that big they don't anticipate your hand being that big when you reach into the box you know what i'm talking about they just kind of imagine you have a normal size hand but for amber that shit was tough watch that shit damn i'll probably have three or four of these actually I ended up having the box seven of yeah these. seven dude that's crazy to say it out loud, as I was eating them, it didn't even feel like seven of them. So. That's kind of like anytime anybody eats anything ever, dude. Like, it, you know, you could, you know croissants, right? When you get a croissant from like a bakery, I could probably like six croissants and not even feel it. And each croissant's like a hundred and some change calories, dude. And I just eat 700 calories, no problem. Like it's just, it would be no joke, it would be no easy, it would be no, no problem for me. And it's like that all the time, no matter what I eat. Like for a lot of people too, it's like that. Cause food is not, carbs are very easy to get a lot a lot a lot of calories out of so a lot of times people just end up body slamming thousands of calories and not even realizing it oh <sighs> now i have no more damn she killed the bag okay you guys so it's been hours later it's been one week since you looked at me and i want some more chili so she's a chili girl i have that warming up you know one thing i will say though is amber is very clean for a girl that weighs as much as she does and struggles i know with the weight she is very very clean in terms of her house dude i don't know if she hires somebody or if she's doing it herself i mean i don't know if she can do it herself but if she is um good for her dude because it's really really hard to clean your house i know that and you see me i live with serp and i live with a unmade bed and people consistently always make fun of me for it but this is who i am okay accept me for who i am okay i don't change for nobody unless it's you of course because you're way too beautiful not to change for all right guys we're gonna end the video here so if you enjoyed today's video i'd appreciate if everybody could leave a like comment subscribe sharing the video all those things i'd appreciate tremendously so if you could do that stuff for me i would appreciate you tremendously we make videos here every day literally every day i've never missed a video in like the last year, I think. Probably I've gone like a whole 365 days without missing an entire video. And we do live streams here, which the schedule, I think a lot of people don't know what the schedule is. So I don't stream on Monday and Tuesday, but I stream every other day of the week at around 6 p.m. So if you wanna join in on those streams, you can. I'm probably streaming right now. And we stream for like three, four, five hours a night. So if you wanna come in on that, you can. I make content here literally every single day. So anyway. Um, if you want to enjoy any of that, please join the Serp army because that's what we are. I mean, look at the beauty of the Serp queens. The Serp queens and Davina herself. Beautiful, beautiful Davina. Beautiful girl. And uh, you're beautiful as well. Super beautiful. Ultra beautiful. Mega beautiful. But anyway, if you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in Serp because we are all Serps together. And uh, we are a part of the Serp army. And please, if you subscribe, then y'all acknowledge you as a Serp comrade. You are a beautiful individual, by the way. Um, you're an amazing special, special specimen. I care for you deeply. You're an amazing person. I love you. The way that your entire format of your personality shapes so well into the way that you execute your daily activities is beautiful and amazing. I care for you. You're an amazing person. You smell really great today. I want to know what kind of, uh, what kind of cologne, what kind of perfume are you wearing right now? Because oddly enough, for me, I don't like having any of these colors or textures or scents on my body at any given point in time because like, I don't like it. It just gives me headaches. But yours is like really good yours is like really good it smells really good i would love to know what your smell is it not is you, are you not wearing anything is that just your natural musk wow um can i have some like can you put it in a bottle or something like that however you can you get can i get a gland or something like that can i get some of those amoebas because it smells too good for me not to have. i'm not gonna wear it i'm just gonna sniff it occasionally like every day all the time but anyway guys 
we're gonna end the video here if you want to check out my social media it'll be linked in the description of this video and the description of the channel it's just my instagram twitter discord other things like that so if you want to check out any of that stuff and follow me anywhere else that'd be much appreciated enjoy the rest of your day guys peace